In this video, I will show you how to install Chromium Moist on your Raspberry Pi. Chromium Moist is a free open source Linux distribution created for running web applications and browsing the internet. It's the open source counterpart to Chrome OS. For the best experience of Chrome OS on a Raspberry Pi, Phytos is the ideal choice. Phytos is a robust operating system based on Chrome OS, specifically designed for devices like the Raspberry Pi. It offers seamless integration, allowing you to enjoy the speed, simplicity and versatility of Chrome OS on your Raspberry Pi. In this guide, we will walk you through the installation process of Phytos on your Raspberry Pi. Let's get started. To set up Chromium OS on your Raspberry Pi, you will need a Raspberry Pi 4 or newer, a micro SD card of at least 32 GB for better performance, a power supply for your Raspberry Pi, a TV or monitor, an HDMI cable to connect the Raspberry Pi to the display, a mouse, keyboard, a computer to download and flash the OS, a stable internet connection to download the OS and image software. To get started, open your web browser and navigate to fileos.io. On the home page, click the download button. A new window will pop up showing options for downloading fileos for various devices. Select fileos for SPC to access the download page for single board computers. Choose the Raspberry Pi model you want to install the OS on. In my case, I am installing it on a Raspberry Pi 400, so I will select Raspberry Pi 400 and Pi 4. You will now be redirected to the OS download page specific to the device you selected. Here, you will find three download links. For the best results, I recommend using the official download link. Click the link to start the download, which will vary in time depending on your connection speed. If you want to download and install Chrome OS or Open Fire instead of Fire OS, I have included the download links in the description below. Once the download is complete, locate the compressed file and extract it using a tool like Binrar. Now you should end up with a .image file, which is the image file needed for flashing. For flashing the image file to the SD card, you will need a flashing software such as Raspberry Pi Imager or Belina HO. In this video, I will be using Raspberry Pi Imager. I will skip the installation steps for Raspberry Pi Imager as I have covered them in previous videos. Raspberry Pi Imager occasionally disrupts the auto-expansion script, which can lead to storage issues. If you encounter any problems, consider using Belina HO instead. Connect the SD card to your PC. Open Raspberry Pi Imager and click Choose Device under the Raspberry Pi Device section to select your Raspberry Pi version. Click Choose OS, then select Use Custom and choose the extracted image. Click Choose Storage under Storage and select the SD card drive you have inserted. Click Next to start the imaging process. Next, you will be prompted to customize the OS settings. If you want to make any changes, click Edit Settings, otherwise select No. A warning message will appear informing you that all data on the drive will be erased. Make sure you have backed up any important data on your SD card. Then click Yes to proceed. Wait for the flashing process to complete. Once it's done, you will see a write successful message. Click Continue, then close the Raspberry Pi Imager and safely eject the SD card from your PC. With the Raspberry Pi turned off, Insert the micro SD card, connect your Raspberry Pi to a monitor using an HDMI cable. Then connect the power supply. The Raspberry Pi should now boot into Fire OS. 
On the screen, you will be asked to select your location and keyboard language. Choose your location and preferred language, then click OK. Next, a welcome message for Five Eyes will appear. Click Get Started. You will be prompted to connect to a network. Select your Wi-Fi connection from the list and enter the password to connect. After connecting to the network, Five Eyes terms and conditions will be displayed. Carefully review them and click Accept and Continue. You will then be asked to sign in with either a Fidois account or a Google account. Since I don't have a Fidois account, I will use my Google account for personal use. After logging in, you will be asked to adjust additional settings such as display and text size. Make any necessary changes based on your preferences. Then click Next. On the following screen, select either the light or dark theme according to your preference and click Next. You are now ready to experience Five Eyes. Click Get Started and you will be taken to the Five Eyes desktop. To open the app drawer, Click the button at the bottom left corner of the screen. The Chromium browser comes pre-installed with the OS and you can access it by clicking the icon on the shelf. To manage your files, use the file manager. To add new apps, open the Store app where you will find a variety of popular applications. If you want to install Android apps, you will need to activate the FireDoys Android subsystem. When you are finished using FireDoys on your Raspberry Pi, you can shut it down by using the shutdown button located in the system tray at the bottom right corner of the screen. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel.